Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the places that you can get help. This is actually a second video. The first video I thought was rather short and I had actually forgotten a few very helpful pieces of documentation. So I hope to be more thorough in this recording. So let's first go over to JDeveloper. Um, obviously there is help here and um, it isn't that bad. It's also, there are also some online help documentation library. This will actually open up a web page um, and you can look up things in here. It's nice because it saves things if you search on something. There used to be cue cards uh, in some of the older versions. You'll see uh, cue cards, which uh, basically give you short tutorials, but I think they've changed the format. So if I wanted to look up, for example, security, um, this isn't a bad place to start. One thing I notice is that sometimes it starts way up here and I have to pull it down. Um, and I do that by kind of going up here and messing around with it. And obviously it's um, real working really well today. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that, but generally it does work. So um, let's go over to what we have. Um, actually, I'm going to go over to here. This is the Oracle Fusion Middleware Users Developer Guide for JDeveloper. And you want to make sure that you get the right version. Oftentimes, when you open up the um, web pages in the upper right hand corner, you can actually download a PDF. I do that because I put it on my Android phone and then I can study it here and there. So that's one very good document. And this is um, this is only 900 pages um, and it's a little bit more clear sometimes. I find that uh, some of the things on subversion, some of the things on security are just a little bit more direct than uh, this one. No, that, sorry, not this one. Yeah, this this was for forms. Then this one, excuse me. This one is 1,820 pages, and it is very complex, and it goes over a lot more details than um, oftentimes you need to know. Um, sometimes it goes over some things that are somewhat related to um, uh, SOA, for example. It's still good, and it's still looking into, uh, but it, it is a very, very big PDF document. Now, also, um, this is for um, people that worked with forms, and it is very dated. I will state that outright, but some of the things that they go over are relatively good if you're from a forms background. If you learn it here, I would verify that it's still in use in the newer versions, but it'll give you some information that you may not find. I find that a lot of the uh, documentation is developed for Java developers. And so people that come from a forms background typically have a little bit more difficulty grasping a lot of the changes. Now I have a web page. I believe you're familiar with it because I've been working on it. You're watching it right now. Um, right now I have about 68 videos and counting. So this one has a number. And if you are in the, uh, if you're beginning, basically just uh, copy this into here and then start at the bottom. Okay. And uh, this is where you, and this is actually the one that I'm replacing. And I've only put this in, I think I put this in about a, eight days ago, and it's already got 93 views. So obviously it's um, quite popular. Um, but you can start here and then just go up. And um, I try to make them short and sweet. Now, this is the Oracle J Developer homepage. And um, there are some demos and some tutorials here. Recorded training, um, some of these other documents that I'm going to show you will also be links that I think the recorded training is one I'm going to show you later. This one is the download, and um, <clears throat> you probably would get this one, and you can get the older versions here. And this is the documentation library. I'll actually just open that up. And um, Fusion Developers Guide. So you can go down, and up here is the PDF. I actually haven't tried to figure out what Mobi is. Okay, so um, this is community. 
Um, they have a bunch of, you can look at Oracle events. They have various events here and there, sometimes on the web. And um, Oracle OTUG, uh, Oracle Tools, to basically search for Oracle OTUGs or, or um, user groups. And here are some uh, technical resources here. This is all basically from the um, main web page. And this is the tutorials web page. I would just search for JDF or ADF tutorials. And again, these are slightly older versions, but it'd probably be fine. You can see that there's quite a lot here. Okay, and ADF Insider Essentials. These are going to be, these are very similar to the cue cards I was discussing earlier. Okay. And here is a pretty interesting uh, web page where you can actually go over and test out some of, look at the components. And I believe that they, there is a place here where you can actually test them out. Um, but it, it goes over this. So keep this <clears throat> search for that, or you can probably just um, search for this. That's a, a pretty interesting. Um, and I, I, there was one page, I don't remember where it is, just a second. Okay, I can't find it, but uh, it's there somewhere. This is the um, Oracle um, tutorials. Okay, and um, these go over a lot of different things. Okay, and ADF Insider, uh, this is, uh, there are a lot of um, fairly interesting um, videos that you can watch. Um, they go over a lot of information that is very helpful to know. But I find these are better if you know a little bit about what you're doing. So I like my videos first and then these because you have a background. Um, I found that when you study these, you don't know what they're talking about and then they give a short demo. Okay, and this is ADF Code Corner. Um, this book is by Frank Nymphus. I have it. It's very good. I have this book also. It's very good, although a little bit more dated. And... Um, obviously because that's 2009 and this one is i haven't read but um, he's very good so then there's more information here now finally um adf insider is very helpful i'm sorry this is the adf forums um and you can search for jdf j developer forums adf forums you log in and um, this is an example of one that i entered you always state your J developer version. This is where you can write down issues that you're having problems with and they people will help you. Then you state your use case. What do you want to do? Why do you want to do it? How are you doing it? Then you write down your sources. What have you studied? What information did you look at to get the information that you have? Otherwise, people are just going to look it up for you. Also, search the forums before you input something um, because if you otherwise you're just going to get people say hey look at this one this is already there okay so this is one that I did um, this is on how to do a um, proper um, deployment considering that there are a huge number of steps and um, I find documentation all over the place that lists different things so this is what you should do. So state your version, always. Use case, tell what references you used, explain in detail, and always give a star and always say thank you. Um, down here, let's see, helpful. This guy will get five points for me doing that, okay? And, um, and then always answer it when you're done. Um, and if you give the guy a correct answer too, I believe that will correct it for you also. So give this guy five points. He helped you out. Um, he will have a few more points. And um, you can see here that this is where you gather the points. And you'll see um, that <clears throat> what you are as you do this. Okay? So that is basically um, everything that I know of to help me and you get along with Oracle, J Developer, and I hope this is helpful. Have a great evening.